What's up guys, it's MB Boxing, and today I'm going to be predicting the outcome of Derek Chisora versus Kubrat Pulev 2, and this is going to be a 12 rounder in the heavyweight division, and this fight is going to be Saturday, July 9th from the O2 Arena in London, England, and this fight is going to be broadcasted on The Zone, and to get both fighters' resumes, Derek Chisora fighting out of England, holds a record of 32 wins with 12 defeats and 23 wins coming by way of knockout. He's currently ranked number 9 by BoxRec in the heavyweight division, and he's also a former WBC heavyweight world title challenger. And to list all 12 of his defeats, uh, he has a unanimous and knockout loss um, to Tyson Fury. He also has a split decision defeat to Robert Hellenius. He has a unanimous decision loss to Vitaly Klitschko, a knockout loss to David Hay, a split decision defeat to Kubrat Pulev in their first fight. He also has a majority decision defeat to Edric Caballel. He has a unanimous decision defeat to Oleksandr Usyk, a split decision defeat, and a knockout loss to Dillian White. And he's also coming off a series against Joseph Parker where he lost by split decision. Then in their most recent fight, which was their rematch, he lost by a clear-cut unanimous decision, and he got dropped multiple times. And to list some of his best victories, he has knocked out Malik Scott when he was undefeated. Um, he's also knocked out Carlos Takam. He's knocked out Artur Spilka. And he has also knocked out David Price. And to get his opponent's resume, Kubrat Pulev fighting out of Bulgaria holds a record of 29 wins with 2 defeats and 14 wins coming by way of knockout. He's currently ranked number 18 by BoxRec in the heavyweight division. He's also a two-time former heavyweight um, or former unified heavyweight world title challenger. And to list um, both of his defeats, first of all, he has a knockout loss to Vladimir Klitschko, and he also has a knockout loss to Anthony Joshua. So his two defeats were really only to the best heavyweights at that time. Um, Joshua, obviously, uh, when he lost, it was disputed whether Joshua was top three or, like, number two around there. And for Klitschko, he was really the consensus number one heavyweight when he fought Pulev at the time. And to list some of Pulev's best victories, he has knocked out Alexander Ustinov, he has knocked out Alexander Dimitrenko, he has a unanimous decision victory over Tony Thompson. One of his best wins is also his split decision win over Derek Trezor in their first fight. He also has a unanimous decision win over Huey Fury. He's also coming off a very nice unanimous decision victory in his comeback to the boxing ring as he defeated Jerry Forrest um, on Triller. So um, he also had like a triad combat bout against Frank Mir, but that was that lasted all of like a minute, and he absolutely destroyed Mir. And it wasn't really a real boxing match, but still, I mean that's just a, something to mention here. But um, in my opinion, uh, I think that it's going to go again in favor of Kubrat Pulev. The thing is, with Chizora, he looks solid um, these past couple of years, like when he fought Usyk, when he fought. Um, Dillian White, although he lost to White twice, he gave him good fights both times. Uh, he's looked very solid in the past couple of years. He also looked really good against Joseph Parker in their first fight, and really, I thought he won it. But, um, yeah, in his second Joseph Parker fight, I mean, he looked washed. I don't know what it was. He was getting dropped left and right. He was getting hurt, backed up. I mean, I don't know what... I mean, happened because just months earlier, prior to that fight, he was being competitive and going really hard on Parker, but I guess it was the game plans that switched as Parker started to box more, and I, that's what I think that Kubrat Pulev is going to do uh, in this fight, and that's why I think he's going to have a lot of success, but I do think it will be a close fight on the cards. So, um, as we could all imagine, I think Derek Chisora is going to be the one to come forward in this fight primarily almost every single round, and I think that Kubrat Pulev will sort of be on the outside in a mid-range, landing counter punches, trying to um, score points on Derek Chisora. Obviously not with big footwork or anything, like a Cuban boxer or something like that. Uh, I think that Pulev is going to be just, as always, so, sort of flat-footed a bit, but still fighting off the back foot, jabbing, th throwing, throwing straight rights down the pipe, and really trying to um, knock Chisora off balance, hurt him, stop him, whatever. But he's really just going to be be the one, um, he's really just going to be the one sort of on the outside a bit, scoring the points, um, and really sort of just being the boxer in this fight, and that's why I think he's going to win it. I think that 
that style is much easier to score in his favor. And considering that Chisora is very reckless, I think he will get hit with a lot of Pulev's counter punches in this fight. And just to break this fight down round by round, um, I think Derek Chisora will have a lot of success um, in really the first half of the fight, just like he has had in many of his, in many of his past couple fights, like against. Joseph Parker in the first half, it was really clear in his favor. Um, it, it, even against Alexander Usyk, he could have been up after that first half, but then obviously the second half was dominant for Usyk. So in this fight, I think after let's say six rounds, it could be fifty-seven, fifty-seven, could be even fifty-eight, fifty-six for Chisora as Pula will start to warm up in the second half of the fight. And Chisora's gas tank isn't as good as it was years ago, specifically in their first fight. And in their first fight. Uh, I believe it did take place in either Germany or Bulgaria, and um, yeah, Pulev did obviously get the nod, but I thought that Pulev won that fight clear, even though I was much younger, I still thought thought that Pulev um, won that fight, um, like a 115-113, um, but one judge did have Chisora uh, winning that fight as well. So, um, yeah, in this fight, I think that even though this is in the UK, the judging will obviously be better. I think they will we'll all have this fight in favor of Pulev. And as I mentioned before, the first half of the fight will be really competitive, and it will it could sway in favor of Chisora. Uh, it could obviously be a draw after it, but I'm leaning towards uh, the first half of the fight will be very competitive, as in that Chisora will have the most stamina in those rounds. He'll come forward a lot more, be a lot more explosive with his punches, and Kubrat Pulev could have some trouble dealing with that, but as the second half of the fight goes on, Pulev will start to land his shots more, just more flush, start to land them with more power, and they'll really start to show on Chisora as um, he really just could start to get backed up and really just outboxed in this fight. And I'm not, and I'm not saying that Pulev will wipe out and shut out um, Chisora in the second half of the fight. I think Chisora could nod. Maybe two rounds in there, he could edge two rounds, maybe three, depending on the first half, whatever. I mean, he could just edge a couple of them, but I don't think it will be enough for him to get even a draw. Um, I think at most, Chizora could win five rounds, maybe four rounds, and I think that's what the judges are going to give him. I think the UK judges will give him the closer rounds, but um, I think in the second half of the fight, it will be start, it'll start to be more clear in Pulev's favor. So overall, I believe that Kubrat Pulev will defeat Derek Chisora once again, but this time I think it will be by unanimous decision, and I think that the judges will score this bout 116 to 112 once, and 115 to 113 twice, all in favor of Kubrat Pulev to win. And uh, yeah, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.